there is no more basic wood joinery than the butt joint. A butt joint is nothing more than when one piece of wood butts into another, most often at a right angle or square to another board, and is fastened using mechanical fasteners. This type of joint is often used in wall framing on construction sites. A mitered butt joint is nearly the same as a basic butt joint, except that the two boards are joined at an angle instead of square to one another. The advantage is the mitered joint will not show any end grain and is more aesthetically pleasing. However, the mitered butt joint isn't all that strong. A pocket hole involves cutting a slot and pre-drilling a pilot hole at an angle between two boards before connecting the two with a screw. This pre-drilling needs to be very accurate, so it's typically accomplished by using a jig. Pocket joints work great for cabinet face frames and other similar applications where a lot of strength is not needed. A dado is nothing more than a square groove slot on one board where another board will fit. Similar to tongue and groove joinery, this is a commonly used wood joint for connecting plywood such as building cabinetry. Another common wood joint used in cabinetry is the rabbit. A rabbit is essentially a dado cut along the edge of a board. Rabbits are often used at the back of cabinets and other similar assemblies for attaching the back to the sides of the box, adding a considerable amount of strength to the assembly. A sliding dovetail is a versatile joint with a lot of possible uses. A good way to think of it is as a locking dado. The half lap joint is where half of each of the two boards being joined is removed so that the two boards being joined together flush with one another. This type of wood joint can obviously weaken the strength of the two adjoining boards, but also is a stronger joint than butt joints. There are a number of projects where this type of wood joint is quite desirable in spite of its drawbacks. Of all wood joinery methods, the through dovetail may be the most revered. A classic through dovetail is beautiful and very strong and adds a touch of class to any piece. There are a few methods for creating through dovetails, from hand cutting to machining with a jig. There are situations where a dovetail joint is the connection of choice, but both edges of the dovetail should not be visible. A perfect example is a drawer front, where you don't want to see the end of the through dovetail on the face of the drawer. For this type of joint, the best choice is a half blind dovetail. Dovetail joints are beautiful and strong, but not always practical. A box joint is a simpler alternative to dovetail joints. A mortise and tenon is a classic wood joinery method. These joints have been used since the early times of woodworking and are still among the strongest and most elegant methods for joining wood. When joining two boards square to one another along a long edge, one can simply butt the joint together and hold it with fasteners. However, the tongue and groove joint is much stronger and provides more adjoining surface areas, which is particularly useful if you are going to glue the joint. Another method for joining boards along the edges, like the tongue and groove joint, is to cut slots and use beech wood wafers known as a biscuit to hold the boards in place. This is a very useful modern woodworking joint, particularly for creating tabletops relying on glue and the swelling of the beechwood biscuit to hold the boards in place. 